Hello and welcome to Pure Word Creations. My name is Tahira. Thank you so much for being with me today. I have a very special journal to show you today um, as a part of Kelly Maleka's design team. Um, and I believe this is Kelly's 10th anniversary of her brand, Crafty Maleka. So congratulations, Kelly. And it makes it even more special for me to be a part of her design team this year. Um, this journal is going to feature her digital journal kit, 25 Victorian Black Ladies. I believe it's the second listing of the 25 Black uh, Victorian ladies on her Etsy shop, Crafty Malaika. And I'll make sure to put links in the description box so you can go right to it. So let's go right on in. This has a um, button closure um, with this sash that was stamped by Teresa of Aceret Studio. Teresa sent me some um, amazing music-related ephemera a while back, and some of it made its way into this journal. Um, the journal is made with Amazon packaging, as you can possibly hear. <laughs> um, and the cover is made with um, some eco and rust dyed fabric that I eco and rust dyed um, fabric that was gifted to me by Tamara Crumble. It was white, totally white, um, as well as this beautiful doily on the spine. And uh, yeah, let's go right on in. This linen pocket on the front and the back um, was gifted to me by a customer of mine. Thank you so much, Cynthia. And on the first signature, um, I have a pocket made bit with one of my string, my cello string packets. Um, this is for my C string on my cello, and it makes a great pocket. And on this song flashcard, I've laminated um, a clipping from a news letter or newspaper um, locally um, about music and art and I believe this is an image of um, two of the members of the Soweto Gospel Choir and I've just added some yellow packaging on the top there and I have plenty of room to journal on the back Going inside, there's a pocket here, and I'll do something with this die cut at a later time. Um, and this is a part of artist Marguerite Wright's coloring book, and it's on the harpist um, Alice Coltrane, who was married to saxophonist John Coltrane. And I've just done some stenciling there. And Kelly, along with her digitals um, online, she has actual physical journals to uh, purchase. She also has stickers, which is this right here. Um, she has stickers and glassing bags with um, pr her printed in images on them. So this tag was originally sent to me by Teresa. Um, it only had the music paper and a bare cardboard backing. So I just added onto it some stenciling, um, of course, Kelly's sticker, some other stickers here, um, some stamping. You can see some of those note stamps from a stamp set that I got at a Creative Reuse shop. And these were cut out, these words were cut out of a cute little children's um, book on music. Let me see if I can get it for you. Let's see. So I cut some of those words out of this cute book written and illustrated by Aliki. Not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but there you go. And so you'll see more of these tags throughout. And I've just topped it with some fabric scrap. This is also a little textile scrap here that I've stitched onto a uh, coffee dye paper that I've gotten from Tamara. This is also um, a trim scrap here. I went into my scrap box to see what fit this journal and uh, found quite a lot. So you'll see more of that 
throughout. Here is an eco print by Rosemary Morris. Some graph paper that I got from Tamara. This is an accounts receivable ledger that I got from my customer Cynthia. Thank you, thank you. So very cool. I've done some stenciling with a Dollar Tree stencil. This one says create. Some of my Rust and Eco dyed paper here. A page from a music textbook that I think was a copyright 1968 that I got from Renee at Renee Renee's at it again. This one says there's mu magic in music. And on the back is a painting by Paul Clay, who is a composer and artist. Um, this says music has rhythm. And this doily, this paper doily, um, I made into a tuck spot and stitched on an acetate piece that says live and create. And that was that doily was gifted to me by Tamara. Here is a, a ledger page from a ledger that I got at a creative reuse shop. And the faint print that you see there is of a floppy record that Tamara also sent me. Um, it's a floppy record. Those floppy records that teachers used to use back in the day in the classroom, um, they would like be fitted into a textbook. Um, and so I've made some prints from those. And since I stitched the doily, I hid some of the backing uh, sewing here uh, with some washi tape and a piece of a book page. And here is one of Kelly's lovely digitals. And I've just accompanied it with some lace that I sewed on the bottom there. Some rust dyed with stencils. And here's one of Kelly's glassine bags. There's a violinist there. And I've just added a playing card in there so you can see the image better. But the playing card also has a French horn on it. I got that from Renee. Here is a music flash card, a time signature, some avocado dye paper. Here's the second of those tags. This one says music is therapy, along with Kelly's sticker. It's really, really beautiful images. And I rust dyed a library catalog card. This is the back of it. In this brown paper bag, I have some cutoffs of, um, here, I'll, I'll show it to you, to you as well. This is from the Golden Pitcher Dictionary. I got it at a library sale or a thrift store some time ago. Excuse me, jostling the camera. Um, and so I just cut out the music related, illustrated um, entries that I can collage with or journal with later. Really, really fun. All right, moving on. This is an Italio print that I did in class. I'd, I've been taking some printmaking classes and my teacher, uh, Duffy O'Connor, helped me to um, use those floppy records um, to actually etch it into um, copper so that I can use that plate to make multiple prints. And so this is one of them. I actually mixed the, uh, the color of the, the inks myself and came up with this beautiful brown. And so I'm happy to put that in this journal. This pocket is made with some uh, wrapping paper from Mexico that I purchased from Renee. 
really really beautiful and this is a card that uh, Cynthia gifted me thank you again Cynthia um, and on the back it's entitled don't you hear the music and by Grace Braithwaite and um, it's also celebrating Juneteenth uh, Juneteenth as it's written here this african-american celebration honors the day in 1865 when slaves in Texas and Louisiana finally heard they were free two months after the end of the Silver Civil War. So thank you so much again Cynthia for that. That fit nicely in this journal. And I love how uh, Kelly's digital uh, you know compliments they both complement each other this paper the color of the instrument there and I printed this on a uh, ledger paper and stenciled imagine on the bottom there here's some more of um, paper from my printmaking class that one's from a monotype class that I um, did with teacher Melody Vasquez. Here is some uh, washi tape from Cookie Sticker Co. It says melanin. Here is another fabric scrap that I sewed on there. Here's a paper scrap, a rusted paper scrap, and I stamped from that stamp set. Same stamp set uh, from the Creative Reuse shop. And this is some scrap of paper that I've had for years um, that I've made into a tux box speakers. Some washi tape by Capital Chic Designs. I think that's the last that I have of that design. All right, here's another one of Kelly's stickers. Such gorgeous images. I just. Um, added some ribbon and this little tab that actually says happiness you can hardly see it because it's white on pale pink um, and that's a tab by Heidi Swap y'all remember her <laughs> that's from my scrapbooking days I, I looked on the copyright of those tags and it was like 2012 so <laughs> um, and I put this glassing envelope of stickers made by fellow cellist um, Megan at Inker Mezzo on Etsy and they're holographic really really cool this is the, the scroll or the the very top of the cello where the the pegs and the strings get attached and this is the bridge that holds the strings uh, kind of in the middle of the instrument so really really lovely stickers all right again Kelly's digital and I stenciled the word dream and this tab says laugh I always tell people that I'm so fortunate to play an instrument where I can laugh at the same time as I'm playing. It's crucial for me. <laughs> I need that in my life to be able to laugh while I play. And in this uh, pocket, I've just put some uh, materials that I can uh, journal and collage with at a later date. All right, and here is an image from a book that I was gifted by Cameron of Lotus and Nightshade. Um, she went library sale shopping and found some books that she thought I would like. And this comes from this book here, Gassir's Loot, a West African uh, epic. And I'm sure I'm saying that name wrong. And it's really cool because the illustrators, Leo and Diane Dillon, also illustrated this book, Aida, by opera singer, or as told by opera singer Leontine Price. And these illustrations are so gorgeous, y'all. 
and I, I have not cut into this book yet. <laughs> I don't know if I will. Right? Gorgeous. But yes, um, going back to this book, beautiful, gorgeous illustrations by this couple. I mean, come on. And the lute is um, kind of like a guitar. Um, he's holding one here. It has more strings than a guitar. Or maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, it maybe has more strings. Either less strings or more strings, depending on how it's made. And I've just backed that image onto um, a textbook fly paper, um, this orange paper here. And it is a hidden journaling spot here. Just some lined paper back there. On this side of the bag, I have some stamped craft cards. Here's one of a cello. Here's one of an iPod. Y'all remember those? And one of an electric guitar. And... This is another stamp from that stamp set, that music stamp set. This I found at a Creative Reuse shop. I'm not sure where I was, um, but yes. Use that as a tuck, and I believe I was gifted this postcard. It's kind of abstract, but you can see that there's a guitar here, a horn there, a saxophone there. And this is on the back. All right. Another one of Kelly's digitals. And on the side, I have stenciled thankful. And I really am thankful to have music in my life, to be a musician. This printable is not a part of the 25 Victorian Black Ladies digital kit. Um, it is a kit, uh, an older kit that Kelly designed um, after her trips to the Ivory Coast. And I put it in here because she did put some musical notes on a staff here. And I thought that fit with our theme. And this is printed on some paper with this kind of like watercolory pink design. And that paper was gifted to me by my customer. Thank you so much. Some washi tape. You can see that the uh, that painting by Paul Clay is called The Dancer. And the other side of the textbook Page has this drummer, and I just have this encyclopedia or dictionary um, book page on drum. I'm sure I got that out of Renee's paper pack or something like that. <laughs> Here's some of my rust dyed and eco dyed paper. Here is a mu an vintage music flash flash card that I was gifted by Renee. And I've used copies of this or copies of the ones that I have um, in other journals, but this one is an original and I'm probably just going to look at it. <laughs> I'm probably not going to use it or write on it or anything. Just look at it. And here is a crossword puzzle entitled On the Radio. So it has some genres of music or things that you could hear on the radio. The other side of um, Rosemary Morris's Eco Dyed paper. Another tag with Kelly's sticker. I love this one. It says music is feeling. And I've just backed it with some stamped paper or painted paper. This paper came out of a journal that I purchased years ago from Nevermore Creations and it was 
intended for it to be taken apart and used, the papers be used however you want. Here's a tag I've had in my stash forever, and I've just um, topped it with some fibers um, that I got at a Creative Reuse shop. This is um, piano roll paper I've used as a tuck. You probably can't read what it says there, and of course you read from the bottom up. Um, and it says, light to make you comfy. And I love that idea. <laughs> Always want to be comfy. Um, this staff paper is from a um, tear, tear pa uh, pad of paper, which is really cool. I haven't hadn't seen that before. And I was gifted this by Renee and done some stenciling here. This stencil I also got at a creative review shop in Boise, Idaho, and it had um, Egyptian uh, stencils or Egyptian symbol stencils. And this one um, was for the symbol Lotus. All right. So here is one of um, Teresa at Aceret Studios music paper pockets. Um, she had originally had some those tags in here and um, I just used it to put some paper, some rust dye paper that um, I'll be using to collage with and journal on later. And actually this is a tuck as well. All right, so the second signature has one of Kelly's images that I printed on canvas and stitched onto the paper after I put some black gesso behind her. Um, there's also some stenciling done with Sizzix Luster Wax, Gold Luster Wax, and I've done some stenciling with some acrylic paint, and I've added some uh, sticker corners. Those are stickers from Dollar Tree. And this um, earring, <laughs> um, this little charm here, um, was a gift from my customer. And I can move it around. Because I just put it on with a brad. Alright, going inside. Alright, so this is an image of Shanta Narula. Um, artist, poet, musician with her sitar. She's a jazz sitarist. Um, actually made a poet journal for her. It should be the video right before this one. And I couldn't add this image in that journal. So I was like, I'm going to put it in mine. <laughs> and so I love this image of Shanta. And I've just used it as a tuck spot for this paper here that I'll turn on on later. But actually, the background is one of Kelly's background uh, digitals, which fits really, really nicely there. This is some of Tamara's coffee dye paper that I printed on my monotype printing class. Here is the next tag with Kelly's sticker. This one says music is creative art. And I've just backed it with some dyed paper. That's some leftover black gesso. This um, envelope I've had for years since the 90s. Um, I went to Japan three times for music um, at the Pacific Music Festival and on the other side you'll see the logo and everything so this doesn't have anything in it at the moment but wanted to put it in here gorgeous image and I just accompanied it with a fabric scrap that I thought matched her dress pretty well some vintage staff paper, another one of Rosemary Morris's eco printed papers, another one of Kelly's papers or digitals rather that I've printed on some vintage or aged graph paper and stenciled the word believe on the side. 
I've used a music flash card as a tuck spot. And sorry, the sun is <laughs> doing its thing. Um, and I love this. Um, it's because you can read, it says, music is shaped by the purpose it serves. I love that. And then on the inside, it kind of says, music creates a mood. And I love the back of that textbook page. I can use it to map photos or to put a journaling spot on there. And here's some more fabric that I've sewed on the side there book page, graph paper. I've stamped this glassine bag with one of those music stamp set stamps. And inside is an Antonia Rupert art card that's entitled Art Makes Us Come Alive. And the sentiment here is music gives us permission to feel Love that. And then it has a journaling prompt. Find, find a song that matches your mood. Feel the emotions you're feeling in that moment. Allow yourself the time to experience your emotions in their fullness. And if you're in the Chicago area, Antonio Rupert's artwork is being displayed at the downtown library at the Harold Washington Library. So definitely check it out. Here's another one of those pockets um, that Teresa made. And here's another tag. This one says, music is rhythm. And I love that image that Kelly designed. Has some graph paper on the back. And here's another one of Marguerite's coloring pages. This one's on Nina Simone. Who is a singer, um, very active in the 60s. I think she was, she also went to Juilliard. Yeah. Um, and I stamped this huge stamp <laughs> um, that I was gifted from Tamara and you can see there's the definition of harmony of peace and the start of the definition of friend and here you can actually see the floppy record print a little more clearly and this is what I did in my monotype printmaking class. You can see some of these doily stars or doily flowers that were also printed and gifted to me by Tamara. Um, this page, book page, is from an older set of the Grove Music Dictionary that I won in a competition. And saxophone is significant in my family. My mom played, my dad played, my brother still plays. And these are actually stickers that my brother had made for his um, music endeavors. So this is my brother with a saxophone. <laughs> and you can see more of his work um, on Instagram. He goes by FKA Jazz. FKA Jazz. All right, more of my rust and eco dyed paper. In this bag is a laminated um, image of a woman with her base. This comes from um, a news flyer or newsletter from my from Juilliard, actually from my my school. Um, I did my master's there, and. You, I can use this as a tuck spot or as a collage focal point. Here's another image from that beautiful book. Oh my God, look at this. Gorgeous. There's even images on his lute. 
So pretty. And again, I backed that with textbook fly paper. This is some stationery I was gifted, as well as this bag. And here is the last of those tags with Kelly's sticker. Um, and it says, music is for everybody. That's some rust dyed uh, ledger on the back. And I just topped it with some fabric. And the journal is relatively blank. Um, I didn't put a lot in it because I plan to use it eventually. And I like to have room to create in the moment. Here is another Kelly Malaika digital image. And I've just put some trim on the side here that I was gifted by Cameron. Here's another fabric scrap. This image, it's really, really cool. Love her hair. And here I've just accompanied it with some cookie sticker co washi <laughs> and stencil the word joy oh and you can see the logo of pacific music festival yeah i've had it since the 90s i went there in 95 97 and 99 sapporo japan some more fabric scrap up here Here's another one of Kelly's glassine bags. You can see that a little bit more clearly. Just a gesso page, the back of my monotype printing. And this is a sewing pattern packet. And inside I have another one of Kelly's digitals from another kit. Again, with the, the music staff on top there. And on the back, I have a linen that I got at my local antique shop. And I just stamped with some Stamperia stamps on there. And it's a pocket. And on this back pocket, or inside this back pocket, is a card that uh, was designed by Twee Tran. Um, we worked on it together. Um, I wanted to have a card that I could send to my family member to encourage her, um, you know, during this stage in her life. Um, and I wanted car other cards to send out to friends and other family members, just as a form of encouragement and support. And this, um, excerpt is from the African-American uh, national anthem here in the U.S. called Lift Every Voice and Sing. And this is the some of the lyrics full of the hope. And Twee designed this rose. Really, really beautiful. And then it's empty inside, or blank inside. And here's, if I can, yes. Twee Trans Rose of Hope. So that concludes my journal that I made for Kelly Malaika as a part of her design team. Thank you, Kelly, for trusting me with your brand. Um, I hope to have more um, journals using her digitals. Well, I mean, I already had journals using her digitals. Let's be honest. Um, I've been following Kelly for a number of years. I've actually, um, purchased journals from her. You can even see a flip through of one of the custom journals that I bought from her. I'll leave a link of that, um, in the description box. I've admired her work for a very long time for you. I think that custom journal was from five years ago. So, um, 
I've really, really admired her work and, um, you know, she's helped me, um, create amazing journals, um, for my own customers. So thank you, Kelly. Um, and thank you all for joining me today. Bye-bye.